Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to take a closer look at fishing and discuss what changes have been made in Animal Crossing New Horizons. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So today's video is number 15 of my December daily uploads. I can't believe we've passed the two week mark. It's pretty crazy and I really hope you guys are still enjoying the Animal Crossing content. If you are, please take a few seconds just to leave a like on this video. I really appreciate it, it really means a lot and definitely makes me feel like you guys are enjoying it. Anyway, moving on, possibly one of the biggest aspects of any Animal Crossing game is of course fishing. This is something that both players and animals can do for fun or even competitively in tourneys. What's more is this is an activity that can be done at any time of the day on any day of the week, so it's a pretty cool feature of any Animal Crossing. Of course there have been a number of fish in the game since the original, with each new iteration of the game seeing even more. By the time Animal Crossing New Leaf was released, there was a total of 72 unique fish to catch. Based on this trend, it's fair to say we can expect to see the same amount, if not even more, added to New Horizons. So far we only know of three fish though, including the pond smelt shown here being caught from a river, a squid which was shown off by the player here, and finally the red snapper again shown off by the player as he posed for a screenshot. Without a doubt there will be loads of old and new fish available on the New Horizons island, but what else does fishing have in store for us on the island? Well for the first time in an Animal Crossing game we will be able to use bait. This is of course a new feature and as you can see we will be able to throw bait into the water wherever we happen to be fishing to help attract fish. This is a new mechanic and is probably a way to find some of the rarer and larger fish. It appears bait is consumable and will need crafting though. Here you can see the player digging up a manila clam with the caption that reads I got a manila clam, these make amazing chowder, yum. The manila clam can be used as fishing bait. I've got an idea for a DIY recipe. So it looks as though we can catch clams and use them to craft things like fishing bait. Of course this is the only example we've seen so far, but there could be others. Maybe different kinds of bait for different areas of the island, or even for different types of fish. It seems that fishing bait isn't mandatory though, which is good as we see quite a few examples of the player fishing without it, but this is definitely an interesting feature and I can't wait to find out more. Now fishing bait isn't the only new thing to be added to the fishing mechanic in New Horizons. It appears that there may be new storage options for things like bugs and fish. We know we can already store fish in our pockets, this is something we've always been able to do, but just like in New Leaf, space is very limited it seems, so finally offering extra storage makes sense. But what is extra storage? Well shown as early as the reveal trailer back in June, we can see when the player starts fishing, they've placed down a bucket next to their fishing spot. Another example of this was shown in the recent screenshots released a few days ago, where you can see the player fishing with another bucket by the river. So this suggests that now we have new ways to store our fish, so we don't fill up our pockets and have to make a million trips to wherever we're taking them, so that's really awesome. A bucket can also be found in another screenshot next to the player who's catching bugs, so it seems this is something that will be used for bugs too. So if this is the case and buckets are used for storing our catches, it's definitely a huge quality of life improvement and will probably make fishing on the New Horizons island easier and even more fun. Now it's possible that this storage mechanic has been taken a step further. Here you can see the player fishing in the river on a chilly winter's day, but this time she's wearing what looks to be an ice box or some sort of cooler, which again suggests this player could have upgraded her storage from an old wooden bucket to a new stylish and wearable cooler. Of course at this point it's just speculation, but it's certainly looking that way. So yeah, it's definitely awesome to see new features are being added to New Horizons and even old features like fishing being revamped and expanded upon. Personally, I can't wait to find out more. And it definitely looks like things as simple as fishing will be expanded upon and have all new features to discover when we finally get to play the game. But for now, that pretty much wraps up today's video. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any Animal Crossing New Horizons news. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters, you guys rock. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too. And of course, if you got this far in the video, please comment bucket. Just let me know you did, that would be super awesome. And please be sure to include if you like the idea of extra storage and whether or not you think this is what buckets and coolers are being used for. I'd love to know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing 
amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.